Welcome to Healings and Meditations with Frank Jordan and the Earth Mind Think Tank Group. We take requests for healings in the second hour. If you simply wish to make a healing request, please type into the chat room on wolfspiritradio.com with the name of the person, the location, and the condition that the person needs healing. You're listening to Wolf Spirit Radio. Okay, you ready? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. All uh, right. So this is Saturday, and it's October the 4th, and this is the Earth Healers Group uh, on Wolf Spirit Radio. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning Frank. Yes, uh, well, I want to welcome everyone to the show one more time. This is the show where we deal with Earth energies, environmental issues, and things that, that affect everyone in general, uh, even the astrological influences to the degree that we were capable of doing that. And, uh, and, and this is a weird day. We're just coming out of retrograde, Mercury retrograde, which is highly beneficial for, for anything that having to do with with communications and this has been a much of the problem recently in trying to get things accomplished and done is, is in worldwide communications is is that, that no one can seem to understand each other mike you're uh, up on your uh, astrology uh, how do you look this, at this line up today it, it's, it's throwing some incredible energies at us it, give me another three four minutes and uh i need to look a little bit more it's it's like a push me pull you effect and uh, we need to get redirected and, and focused and and uh, hold firmly in our minds what we we want to achieve in life and uh, in our our universal communal work which of course affects everyone um uh, Nationally and internationally, the news keeps getting better and better and, and things progressively getting fixed and healed around the world as far as the, uh, the wars are concerned and things of that nature. Weather-wise, we're here in the Pacific Northwest, we're moving into our, our fall set, fo- focus now on, on the, on the weather patterns, which is, I mean, the, the high pressure areas interspersed with, with Good weather fronts moving through, and, and there is a big glow out sitting out in the Pacific. So let's put our attention on that now. It's going to go to the north of us if we don't move that high. So let's focus our attention first of all on the high pressure ridge. It's settled in over the west, and just gently nudge that to the east to get the systems to moving again. Just with your desire and will and intent. It's, it, it's as though you were looking down on earth and seeing that, that incredible high pressure ridge. And the, the problem with the high pressure ridge is it stores all the stress of everyone. There's no movement. Everything is static. So let's move that to the east and so we can get to moving here and particularly coming out of Mercury retrograde, which, which uh, makes things go static and unmoving anyway. <clears throat> so we're moving into more advanced stages now of our astrological fixes. And let's go out into the Pacific and pull that low pressure rotation that's pretty well up in the Gulf of Alaska and pull that down. You do that simply by becoming it and visualizing it and willing it down to where it'll start the southern flows rotating also and bring in moisture into the southwestern United States where we need it so badly. And, um, Mike, are you ready with some... Yeah. About, no? Okay. All right. Today we have... Uh, Mars is in, in aspect to uh, Venus and also uh, to Jupiter. So we've got Jupiter, Mars, Venus energy. Uh, which, you know, two of those three would be loving and beneficial and the, the Mars is out of bounds, which means that it's, 
declination as it's you know out of the extreme end of its of its uh, deviation from the equator and it's trying Mars trying Jupiter uh, also it is trying Uranus so we have we have Mars Jupiter Uranus energy there as well um, actually it's also an aspect uh, with Neptune so we have four big planets. Two of those are retrograde. The Neptunian energy is retrograde, as is the Uranus. Um, there's nothing in the way of a uh, of a big opposition, direct oppositions or or squares. Um, but there's there's Sun energy into the Neptune aspect, and so um, I think the, uh, the 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 Mars trine aspects put energy in, but not necessarily as uh, as destructive as normal. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll feel these things all day today. Another thing is going to happen uh, this afternoon. We're going to go into moon void, of course, until about 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. So this afternoon and this evening, it's, it's going to feel like we're, we, we lost our focus. And yet... These powerful astrological forces of the planets are moving and creating and pushing things around, even though consciously we can't focus and be aware of it. It is making things happen, and so that is good. We're getting out of this this status quo system where which we've been in for some time now in Mercury retrograde, and we're going to begin moving forward. And there are a lot of things happening. Kimberly was just commenting on that um, before the show. Can you add a little to that, Kimberly? Yeah, the, definitely the micro and the macro are coming into play here where we're assisting these great energies um, as a body of light beings here, assisting all the energies in all the different dimensions that, as we all know, we've been um, – privy to the uh, sort of up and down the ladder movement in the last you know few years as we've been going through this and in and through this uh, photonic mm, gift that's happening for all of us. So I think a lot of people have been feeling the density and certainly needing to sleep more to restore, uh, repair and restore as we um, are like the um, gateways or um, assisting in the vacuum cleaning of the remnants of the density, density and the and the blockages that have been uh, designed to hold us in place here until which time we can break free from our from our quarantined uh, um, aspects of ourselves and all of that being done by free will. And by our acts and our deeds, uh, we're showing that we have been willing to come forward to be soldiers and to assist in this great light redistribution. You know, we talk a lot about uh, the financial aspects of things. What's happening is also, you know, currents are light movements, frequency movements, Money, finances, all of that fits into the same category when we're talking about energy. And this influx of new um, redistributing of the light, which is information, which is money, which is responsibility, accountability, organization, structures that are all going to take um, their part in this redistribution and readjust readjusting of the balancing that's happening so that's really what came uh came um came to me right now to answer that frank and i don't i actually don't know if you had another question you wanted to ask i might be able to answer something more specific but that's really what came through for me just then well that's perfect and this also is confirmation to to and for the work that we have been doing for the last couple of years in our earth mind work where we've been clearing the density, the, the opposition force, the uh, domination force, and and releasing from people the, their servitude. And what this is allowing people to do is is more and more to recognize their situation and who they are and how we got here. And more of this is coming out into the public all the time now. 
uh, for recognition that of how our governmental and religious organizations were created to control us. So more and more it's coming in, the light is coming in and shining into the darkness and we're becoming aware and with awareness we can make right choice because we are the creative focus and functionality of, of our experiences in our lives and our choices in the moment of now, which is the zero point, is, is what releases the old standing waves that holds the old forms and and uh, to accelerate that, we can look back in time, and we've been doing a lot of that work with their, with their, uh, through Wolf's Mind Spirit of the Universal Mind Radio, and the, the Mind Earth Mind Healers Group. We we look at the old patterns and forms and and break those up and release them because they're just energy. And we've learned how to work directly with Gaia, with Earth Mind Mother Earth and become one in the polarity principles with Mother Earth using the positive oversoul principle, the, the male polarity, through the zero point to help break loose and break up the negativity that that has been patterned into Earth's mind or the Kasich records in, in the Earth that holds the instinctive consciousness of everything. So as we're shifting that and breaking up those patterns, the instinctive prompting that comes from Earth is responding to our our patterning and programming, which is for dominion, love and life and empowerment and uh, the equality of all people, equal opportunity, all the great things that that our original forefathers set up in the Constitution, which were subverted into domination, are now beginning to come forward and and uh, appear to be possible for us. Can you make any comment on that, Kimberly? Well, it's it's becoming very very evident that those who have the ability and capacity to love and connect to their divine families, their, uh, 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 their guides, their, you know, it's, it's becoming very, um, uh, obvious and visible now that those that call up and order up what's needed right now and the quickening is allowing for that exchange to happen. I think people are noticing that they're manifesting results a lot quicker. Um, we're having to watch and monitor our thinking patterns in our minds a lot more. We're having to really be in the zero point, as you talk about, Frank, to navigate, if you will, this um, construct that we have been put into called this body, this body temple, in order to in this in this in this dense realm. We're also noticing, Frank, um, this word has come to mind recently called clemency. And for those who have been working with the spiritual different realms, um, what we're being shown and asked to do is assist these contrasting partners uh, in their exit or their new paths to play in the new realm, meaning to to shift the consciousness of the domination force. That's correct. Now, some of them are actually looking for us specifically so we can hold and bear witness using the grace that we know that creator made all of it. Some of them are coming over to the side, the light side, but they cannot do it without the assistance of a witness allowing that energy shift to happen. So, so consider that we're being asked to witness clemency. 
I think we're doing that exactly in in the way we've approached the the opposition forces. We never f- try to fight them direct or to destroy anything. Uh, what we do is go work through Earth Mind to help them to release or to release the, the old patterns and forms that hold that destructive force, and and by releasing that and uh, giving them. Th- Helping to implant the the principles of dominion in place of domination, then the prompting of everyone, including the opposition force, those those who aspire to hold that in form, it prompts them to rethink, to reexamine, to look at things from a different angle, and to see how they could benefit by going along with a lot of the things that's happening. And we see that happening uh, directly now in the governmental level and in the finance level in in the breakdown of the fiat fiat money system. And that is breaking down and it will and is being replaced by one that is more functional and more in dominion. And that's going to be a long transition process to weed out the dominators uh, out of that, the controllers that, that, that attract all the energy to themselves rather than dispersing it laterally. And money is energy and represents energy forms. And so uh, the question I had, Kimberly, is is what's happening in the stimulation of the republic? Uh, They're the, the moving back into the way the constitution was actually set up to, to be established. Well, as this transition's happening, what what we're all being gifted with is the is the memory that we are all self governed, self realizing, and self actualizing entities, right? And we are recognizing that we are all republics. Um, and so as this uh, awakening process is happening, we, we're being we're we're being shown that any kind of governance structure that does not hold a, a self-sovereign identity um, will not be able to be used as we cross over into this new dimension. Um, 5D is essentially where those who have chosen to be sovereign, self-actualizing, and self-realized will be will be able to go. And so we're at that final quickening phase now where there have been people from the opposition who have shown their willingness to assist uh, in this transition. Um, and so basically what's happening is there are governance structures being created that have no intention of governing souls or individuals or constructs. There is rather the spiritual governing structures that are assisting in the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimensions, essentially clearing out any potentialities of interruption or infrastructure that might be created to dominate any one thing or living system. So you could say there's the guardian alliance that is that has been here uh, assisting while our vibration is rising up and we're being called, we're waking up, our eyes are opening, we're being called into duty and service. And we're the bridge, we are the bridge. We as a human vessel that's chosen to work for that guardian alliance and be that vessel who's in direct communication on the front lines, we are the bridge builders we are the ones we are the bridge that they're actually coming in and through to assist in this transition i i hope that that um communicates that's Um, that's absolutely perfect and that that will be our intent for the day and for all time from here forward is is exactly what you expressed is to help those uh, all of those who are willing to shift and can recognize the positive good uh, because many of these are already established, well established in government and religion and education everywhere else. So what we will do with our work is empower them to gain recognition and to shift into the positive side, into the dominion and express that, to help build that. Because they have the experience, they have the funds, they have the knowledge to do that. So let's get into our meditation now. 
we'll we'll as always we'll step back into a, into the subtle energy realm which sustains all of this physical dynamics out here on an, an ongoing basis and the subtle energy realm directly responds through the zero point to to create to manifest whatever our desire and will and intent expresses what whatever we ask for we get it may not come immediately and in the form we expect but it does evolve particularly if we keep putting the energy in it repeatedly and get enough people doing it once in the morphogenic field of group mind consciousness so what we'll do and this is the way we always access the subconscious mind in the extended field of subtle energy take your awareness up into your forehead and realize that what you're doing there is using the front lobes of your brain which is the desktop of your bio computer that's what's the rational reasoning place but rational reasoning is not what what it it creates the form but the energy that manifests it comes from the deeper levels so step back a step a level deeper now into the soul center and reach out and unify our intent for the day through the world healer group through wolf spirit radio and all the people listening just feel the oneness feel the oneness that we really are in our indwelling soul we're all expressions of the god force experiencing life here on earth in all ways possible and feel that oneness solidify and codify what it is that we're here to do and express and always look into the future and to create the form that is the most desirable through unconditional love to benefit all things all things of DNA on earth now to step a step further back and you go into the psychic center where we can work directly with desire and will and intent on one person that we can select and work with too but we won't do that today we're working in the general populace the general consciousness the step on back a level deeper and as you step back and go deeper and deeper letting go of all the frontal lobe activity and your attention totally centered back deep within yourself you're entering into the field the subtle energy field of consciousness so let yourself expand through the the general human consciousness of our unified field and drop your awareness down your spine to the zero point and this is where it all happens and always pause in the zero point in the heart always pause to touch into and feel the resonance of our indwelling spirit that aspect of the god force consciousness this is like the main frame computer that operates everything and and we are are simply a, a little program of that mainframe computer but our important our input is important to its operation and function to manifest and hold the world now from that point drop on down in this mid level of consciousness to the root chakra Just put your attention there for a moment this is the bridge down into earth mind into the negative polarity to touch on down deeper into earth mind and feel yourself being drawn down as you attune to earth to actually it's the gravity of earth pulling you down that energetic form that allows us to function and experience life and 
And because we will be working this manifestation and demanifestation this morning, just hold that connection through your feet and reach back up the spine to your crown chakra and reach up and touch into Oversoul. Oversoul. This is the levels of consciousness that I call the thinkers and the dreamers. The positive polarity fields that holds the man of, the, the creative, the intellectual consciousness of creativity, the male polarity that's so necessary for the female polarity to bring things into form in the zero point. And I drop your awareness back down, pulling the male polarity energy down into the heart center and just making that connection and reaching up from the undersoul, from earth mind, bringing that one up to our heart center. And you feel that stability and balance as you do this. And what you're doing is working within the orbs of the manifest field, of the unified field. And we won't get into that today. We'll do that possibly tomorrow night. I'll explain further how this works. Now drop your awareness down the spine. Now we can move freely around in earth mind because we're in readiness now to work. So first of all, take your awareness to Southern California. And we learned how to use the energy of earthquakes and volcanoes, energy potential in in earth, in earth mind, the physical energy for manifestation and demanifestation. So drop into the earthquake energy zone in Southern California and just reach out and feel the energy that's building up in the stress field there. Lift that stress up your spine, up your spine, out through your crown chakra, all the way up through oversoul, all the way up into the ionosphere, and distribute that energy around the earth in a golden shield, a sphere of energy we've created that we work through to constantly direct and manifest or demanifest form. This is where we put our desire and will and intent. We created a devic force of consciousness that works directly with us. And also on this level, we're working directly with the consciousness of the galactic flow, the galactic beings that have been helping and directing us for thousands of years on Earth as we worked our way through to this point. So just touch into the galactics. That's just like reaching out and touching into the core of the galaxy. And in that, also feel now the photon belt that we've moved into. Tremendous amounts of energy available to us there. Just put your attention on the photon belt. Concentrate on it and you feel your third eye open up. And that energy, that light source pours into us, into our systems. And we want that energy now to also be directed into our golden shield. Opening portals in the golden shield to directly assimilate energy from the photon belt. Energy that can be transmuted into any form that we desire. Now there's another incredible source of energy too, and that's the sun. This is really the, the father principle energy to reach out to the sun. And as you put your attention on the sun, you feel the flow of that incredible force that sustains life through DNA of all creatures on earth. We pull that into our golden grid where we can put intent 
and will on those those volumes of energy pouring from the sun, the light sources, we can program that light for beneficial causes on earth. So now we have our power all unified. We have our sources of power attuned. So bring your awareness back down into earth mind again. Back into Southern California. And we continue northward. We're going to go around the Ring of Fire very quickly today. Pulling energy off of building earthquakes so they are not destructive. Move up to San Francisco. Up to Western California to the Oregon border. There's quite a cluster of new activity in that region now where it translates from lateral thrust force into subduction zone energy. Lift that energy upward. Now back down, go eastward to the Sierra Nevada mountains created by the subduction of the California plate under the main mass of the of Nevada, lift that energy upward, all the way down, back down to Los Angeles, then eastward to the Rocky Mountains, up through Utah, to the caldera of Yellowstone. And when you tune into that, you feel an incredible amount of energy, earth energy itself, from the, coming from the core of the earth. Lift that energy upward so it doesn't build up into a massive eruption. Distributing it around the earth as our protective shield against solar flares or meteors or anything detrimental to Earth. And move back westward to the Pacific Northwest. A lot of minor activity going on there. This is subduction zone activity. Lift that upward lubricating it so it smoothly slides along and doesn't hang up. Now take your awareness northward to Alaska and the cluster of ongoing subduction zone activity between the Gulf of of Alaska Plate and Alaska lift that upward and then down along the Aleutian Peninsula which is pretty quiet today all the way to Russia and then southward along the Kamchadek Trench down to Japan. There is some activity in the neighborhood of, of the Miyako, which is near where the primary Iraq reactors are. So we use the we use the plate energy, lift that upward and wrap it around the radioactive energy being released. Take it upward into the golden grid to transmute it into positive energy. Now move your awareness southward 
to the Philippines ongoing volcanic activity plate energy there and further south into the Indonesian crescent and eastward into New Guinea through those fault zones that create the Pacific Islands all the way through to Samoa That's south along the condemned that stretch to New Zealand, which is quiet today. Now eastward to the Argentina, South America. It's pretty quiet today. Now this gives me pause for thought because things are quiet. That means stresses are building up because they never stop. So let's work a preemptive strike here by releasing the energies before they get intense enough or hung up enough, lubricate the plates, the Peru chili plate trench. Also, we're looking towards on the 8th, there will be a lunar eclipse and that is, is going to intensify the energy and there could be releases then. So let's release this energy before the lunar eclipse so that intense energy will be utilized beneficially and not detrimentally all the way up. We'll do this all the way around the ring of fire. Send your awareness to Central America. Again, only minor activity and much less activity in Santa Domingo. Now move eastward to Iceland and even those uh, volcanoes are, are reduced in their output. So this builds this signals an intensity that's building up. It's almost like the pause before the storm that will hit during the period of the moon and the, the sun interacting directly across the earth. And we'll back down to the Mediterranean area. Quite a bit of activity in Greece at this time. McRae, Greece. And eastward to Kabul in Afghanistan. Mid-range activity there. And on to the plateau of Tibet. And down in China at Yongcheng, the 5.1 there. Now move eastward across the Pacific, pausing at the Hawaiian Islands. There's scattered activity much more than usual in all the islands and offshore. Lift that energy upward. This can be affecting the weather patterns. Now move eastward, back to our point of beginning, and further eastward into the plain states. There's much widely scattered activity indicating that the fracking activities are being felt in a larger area now, all the way through Oklahoma. You've done in Kansas, Arkansas, and to the New Madrid Fall in Missouri. Lift that potential upward. 
and on into the Appalachian Mountains. Now bring our awareness back to the point of beginning. And we raise, we want to put our attention around the entire ring of fire now and feel the resonance of the ring of fire with our golden grid, the extensive shield around the earth that we're creating. And the first thing we want to project with our unified desire and will and intent is that the ring of fire protects us from the, the energy, the stress that will be caused by the lunar eclipse on the 8th. So there will only be feel, feel the golden grid balancing, harmonizing, the energy of the sun and the moon with that of the crust of the earth so that that activity can pass without incident, without any major earthquakes anywhere around the world. And now we want to bring our awareness upward into the group mind consciousness of all human beings Go back into the soul center. Reattach to the soul center to all other humans. And the, and the unified soul intent of humans that is subjective to whatever conditions humans create on earth, whatever situations, whether choices and activities, We want to extend into all human soul level of consciousness that morphogenic field that usually in in its creative process just allows humans to make their choices. We're prompting all human souls now to remember their past lives, to raise their frequency of energy back, to throw off, throw off the amnesia that has been imposed on humans so that all human souls can remember can pull back in their higher frequency ranges and lift their consciousness out of the third dimension out of the low self up into the high self And we feel we actually can tune in to the group mind consciousness of all those cells of humans and using the tremendous force now that we've created in the golden grid and coming in from the photon belt, we've intensified the frequency of the low cells of all humans to lift their point of centered consciousness up their spine above the heart level and into higher consciousness. We're passing through the zero point of the heart as we do this, opening up and use, utilizing the zero point to shift, raise the consciousness of the standing waves of this moment of now as it resonates forward from the past, this moment of now transmutes and raises the consciousness of all living beings. And their center of consciousness comes in above the heart, which means they'll be responsive to love, higher consciousness, instead of reacting primarily to the influence of, of pattern directives of the low self and the domination force. feel the whole world lift now utilizing the energy of the golden grid the galactic flow lift all of human consciousness now above the heart up into the love center above the heart through the power of the Christ within each and every one of us 
Our desire is for peace and love and harmony for all beings. And we particularly inspire those who have been programmed into the domination consciousness for so long. We inspire them to recognize they are one with everyone on earth. And they've been doing their job very well of imposing domination as a driving force to teach the rest of us to evolve and learn and grow beyond domination. So that as we go out into the universe in future years, we go out in love and dominion and not with the domination force that is so adamant now that they want to control everything. We release the controllers. We shift the consciousness, lift it up higher. And we feel all of human consciousness come into balance with higher awareness that in their choices they will choose to empower everyone with Everyone with the recognition that we are all one. And we tune directly into the ancient grid of the pyramids where we've been working to shift the consciousness of the crystal skulls and the etheric crystal skulls that are still in every pyramid on the planet. We we have worked to shift the consciousness of those pyramids and the crystal skulls that holds the pattern into their etheric resonance to earth mind, instilling and inspiring unconditional love, the galactic flow into the crystal skulls around the world that hold the resonance of water's pattern into them, shifting the human core reality from domination to dominion. And we feel this happening now. We inspire those who are remembering and bringing forth the principles of the Republic and of the gold-backed currency systems and the educational systems of the world to make right choice and create a beneficial, harmonious system to benefit everyone and all into all the religions tune into the earth mind consciousness of all religions and shift them into dominion and out of the domination limitation and control where everyone is is inspired and released to their own spirituality in their own way recognizing there is no need for organized religions if people will simply make right choices in themselves because they are the God force expressing and the greater, more direct communication with God that you can possibly achieve is to communicate with the God force in your heart. We feel our hands pulsing with light now between the left hand negative polarity and the right hand positive polarity. And we bring our hands about eight inches apart, bring them together back and forth, just not quite touching and feel the field of energy that builds up between you. We put our intent in a globe of energy there that is in direct resonance with earth mind 
and the consciousness of all living humans on earth. And we put the intent of what we've created today into this globe. And we put it not only in our zero points, but in the zero point of every living person. And in earth mind, the zero point of earth mind, in the earth itself. And we release it, bringing harmony and balance and understanding to all living beings. And so it is. Would anyone in the group like to add anything to this now? Um, Frank, can you hear me okay? I'd like to just put a fine point on what you spoke about with the crystals today. Yes. I'd like to mention um, that there's this Cathara grid, um, and I'm going to read the, the foundation on which the Axiom grids, the Merkaba fields, the Auric field levels, the subtle bodies, which you speak of quite often, chakras, meridian lines, physical matter, symptoms, systems rather, and multiple dimensional levels of consciousness are manifesting. That's a huge mouthful, but I think what's happening here is the culmination of all of our light bodies, all of our subtle bodies, all of our auric fields, all of those that have our Merkaba fields uh, that are beginning that spin as we open the portals, as we combine with like minds. We're actually manifesting the God consciousness here like a cell forms itself into large bodies. And I just really wanted to put a, put a, put an exclamation point on, on the work that we did today. Wow. I'm just, I mean, I literally feel it throughout my entire cellular matrix right now. So thank you so much, everyone, for holding that space and that grid work today. Thank you, Kimberly. And all of us, as we step out into the everyday reality, we carry this with us. This globe of energy and that intent we created in our own hearts is in resonance with every heart in the world. So as we are, so everything becomes. Where our intent goes, our creative force of consciousness is directed into form. And it's been a beautiful day. Any more comments? It's such an incredible thing to, to be able to observe these energies and feel them and work within them as we learn. And this is a, is a part of growing into enlightenment, is mastering the energies within yourself and learning to recognize the subtle energy fields and work with them. That is mastery. And that's all that enlightenment is, is enlightening yourself. And the more we contribute and participate in these, we, we pick up simply through, through resonance. We pick up with everyone how it all works. How about, since how we're in this form, Rachel, could you do a tone? To help us out? That would be perfect. Okay. <clears throat> My throat's a little weird today, so we'll see what comes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Perfect. Now play your bowl and let's attract the galactic flow in and ride out on that.
you notice the tone has changed. It's rising to higher frequencies. Everyone just open your hearts and download the galactic flow directly into your heart center. Thank you, Galactics. That was beautiful. All right, if there's no further comment, we will pass along for the day. JP, are you there? Yes, indeed. Just about to handle the hangover. Um, the can the hangover. The cr- uh, handover. That's right. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> so I'll be with you in a second on the... Where's the outro? Oh, damn, where's the outro? Uh-huh. There we go, outro. There we go. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye bye, JP. Bye bye.